Beloved in the Seventh Day Adventist Church, beloved in the Seventh Day Adventist Church, this is a very urgent, urgent message. A very urgent, urgent message regarding the unfaithful hireling priests within the Seventh Day Adventist Church and the unfaithful evangelical ecumenical um, first day ministers that preach in the first day churches found in great controversy. This is found in the book by Sister White called Great Controversy by Sister White, Great Controversy, the illustrated edition. The chapter called Desolation of the Earth, Desolation of the Earth by Sister White. Hear the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Unfaithful pastors have prophesied smooth things. They have led their hearers to make void the law of God and persecute those who will keep it holy. Now in the despair, these teachers confess for the world the work of deception. The multitudes are filled with fury. We are lost, they cry. And you are the cause of our ruin. And they, and they turn upon the false shepherds, the very ones that once admired them, most have pronounced the most dreadful curse upon them. The very hands that once crowned them with laurels will be raised to, for their destruction. The swords which were to, to slay God's people are now employed to destroy the enemies. Everywhere there is strife and bloodshed. Below in the Southern Adventist Church, those who are preaching Sunday surge in these Adventist churches, those who are preaching new theology like no victory over sin, send the Christ from back in the clouds. Those who are teaching dancing in church and um, women's ordination and that are Jesuits in the, in the, in the Southern Church teaching spiritual formation. All these hireling priests, beloved, will be destroyed by the weapons of the apostate seven day Adventist people. And the first day Christians that are lost in these last days, they will see the seven last plagues. They will take the swords that they were going to use to kill God's people, to save God's people, and turn it upon these hireling priests, beloved. Ezekiel 3.17 says, I have set thee as a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning unto me. Again, when I said to wicked thou shalt surely die, and if thou given him not warning to me, he shall surely die in his iniquity with his blood, so require thine hand, beloved. I have delivered my soul from this apostate seven of his membership. I'm not going to have them come after me with their swords in the last days and be a hireling priest, beloved. I'm going to give the straight testimony to let us see it, beloved. We must be ready for these last days to give the straight testimony. The straight testimony calls a shaking. Recently, I went to the salvation class at Oakwood University Church during um, camp meeting and told them that Sunday surge and all these women's ordination and all these new theologian things are presented by false teachers in the Adventist Church and we dealt with the salvation class on false teachers. And recently I got reprisal for it by a minister here in the Adventist Church. I'm not going to tell you his name. He went against me and said, Lucy, stop doing that. Recently, folk have been telling me to stop preaching the straight, a straight truth. But, beloved, I will not stop preaching a straight truth. I must deliver my soul, beloved. 1 Timothy chapter 4 talks about this grand deception in the last days that will deceive much of God's people. 1 Timothy chapter 4 says this. First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy is right after, is right before Titus and Second Timothy. It says this: It says, "Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in latter times some to depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and command to abstain from meats which God created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe not the truth, believe and know the truth." Now, beloved. In the last days, the, the, the departing from the faith. What faith is that? That's the faith once delivered into the saints. That's the faith that um, the people departed from in these last days. The faith once delivered to the saints. According to Jude chapter, Jude verse 4, the faith once delivered to the saints. The faith of Jesus, Revelation 14, 12 says, 
that the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus symbolize the character, the beliefs of us in these last days. The commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, beloved. The commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, beloved. What is the faith of Jesus? It is the spirit of prophecy or the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 19, verse 10. I follow the spirit of worship and said unto me, See thou do not, for I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren. To have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So, beloved, we must not stop preaching the truth in these last days. We must not be afraid of being persecuted or not joining seven Adventist churches or being kicked out by certain members because of our beliefs. We must preach the straight truth and not be afraid to preach it in these last days, beloved. Give the straight truth. Now, over here, talks about Peter's ladder. It says, And beside all this, giving all diligence, and add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you be neither barren nor unfruitful, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if you lack these things, you're blind, and cannot see afar off, and have forgotten that he has purged you from your old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Wherefore I would not be negligent always in remembrance of these things, though you know that you be established in the present truth. So present truth is Peter's ladder. Present truth is going on with an upward. Present truth is putting away sin and walking forward toward Christ in these last days. Present truth is victory over sin, the um, spirit of prophecy, health message, um... The, sanct the sanctuary truth, the Sabbath, that's present truth for these last days. And he said unto me, on the 2,000 of these days, this is how the sanctuary be cleansed. These are present truth issues in the last days that you must follow in the last days, beloved, if we're going to be sealed and saved for these last days. We must be firmly established in the present truth. I know my, my glasses have glare on them, so you can't see my eyes when, I'm, when I have my glasses on right now. So I'm going to take off my glasses, you can see my face. Beloved in the seven living in this church, we must fully be totally convicted of truth in these ass days, beloved. Donald Trump was in the White House. He's trying to pass the Sunday Law. You see him repealing the Johnson Amendment. You see him trying to work with the ecumenical, evangelical, apostate Protestant world, which is the image of the beast, apostate Protestant and legal to state. He's trying to pull down the safeguards that protect religious living in these ass days, beloved. Now it's time to make a call and election show. We need to get ready to move to the country, preparatory movement to the mountains, beloved. God bless you, Mary Nathan.